Hello, it's Salimik. In today's video, we're gonna talk about direct fuel injection nozzle GDI and indirect fuel injection nozzle PFI. What are the differences between them and how to clean them? But I'm gonna call them direct fuel injections and indirect fuel injections for easy understanding. So we're gonna talk about how we differentiate by the shape of them, how they work and where they located, how they perform on the engine, and which one gives more fuel efficiency and burn less fuel for the same amount of engine power. Direct injections have a small nozzle at the tip, while indirect injections have a large nozzle with a small hole on the tip. Direct injections tend to have shorter and thicker body compared to indirect fuel injectors. Direct fuel injectors with a secondary camshaft fuel pumps are metal, and direct injectors without secondary fuel pumps are hard plastic case. Direct fuel injectors inject fuel directly into the combustion chamber, while indirect fuel injectors inject fuel into the intake manifold before entering combustion chamber, so it will be before intake valves. Direct fuel injectors operate at much higher pressure than indirect fuel injectors to ensure precise fuel delivery. Direct fuel injector system can operate at pressure ranging from 35 to 170 bars. The reason direct fuel injectors have higher pressure to overcome piston's pressure, so it will inject the fuel while air being compressed and indirect fuel injectors typically operate at pressure between 3 to 7 bars. Direct fuel injectors allow more precise control over fuel-air mixture and combustion process, leading to improved performance and efficiency. So which one is better, direct fuel injectors or indirect fuel injectors? Both has pros and cons. Direct fuel injectors gives more precise fuel, better fuel economy, and higher engine performance than indirect fuel injectors. The problem with direct fuel injectors, intake valves always get carbon buildup from PCV oil vapor and the direct fuel injectors no longer washing the intake valves while it happens in indirect fuel injectors. Direct fuel injectors always expensive than indirect fuel injectors if you want to replace them when they leak fuel and cleaning no longer help them. You also have secondary fuel pump with direct fuel injector engines and you need to replace them when it can't provide the high pressure. So that's another maintenance problem. Some car companies added direct and indirect injectors on the engine to benefit from fuel efficiency, higher engine performance, and indirect injectors to wash the intake valves. Next, I will show you how to clean them. There are no difference for cleaning direct and indirect fuel injectors, except if you have leaking fuel injectors. And that is what happens in direct fuel injectors most of the time. So first of all, I'm gonna start with this direct fuel injector from Toyota Camry that doesn't have a secondary fuel pump, and you can see it's plastic casing. So I'll be using fuel injector tester. This will allow you to send pulse to the fuel injector with four different modes. I just need to cut these wires here and connect them with the harness adapter for powering up with the tester. Because giving continuous power to open the fuel injector solenoid will overheat the injector and sometimes will burn the solenoid. So now fuel injector tester ready with the right adapter so we don't have to worry about burning injector. Before using fuel injector adapter, we need to remove all the o-rings if you are willing to use them again, but I recommend using new one after cleaning and then taking all the filters out before cleaning. This one not only dirty and clogged, it tripped off from a side and let all the dirt get inside the injector, but the other filters are just dirty. I like to spray carb cleaner and clean the outside and the inside as well so I don't push the dirt inside the injector when powering up the solenoid. So for using adapter, remove the nozzle on a carb cleaner can and push the adapter on and then insert the injector and then the wire harness. Now we can connect these two to a car's battery and I like to use mode 4, which is continuous pulse. And then holding the nozzle and pushing it down on the carb cleaner at the same time. Remember that you have to always hold the fuel injectors, otherwise it will pop out. Here is another fuel injector, and this time I will use single pulse with the tester. It will let the solenoid open for a longer time and let it clean faster than continuous pulse. One of the important points when you are done with cleaning, just power up the fuel injector without pushing the adapter on a carb cleaner can, so it will release all the pressure before removing fuel injector. Alright, we are done with cleaning. Next, I will replace the filters with a new one. 
and also I will be replacing the o-rings as well so we don't have any fuel leaking problem. I always recommend to put the filter basket in first and then the o-rings so I did that for all fuel injectors. Next oiling the o-rings and then putting them on the fuel rod. Next is a direct fuel injector with a secondary fuel pump and it's leaking fuel. Most of the time if you leave it in ultrasonic cleaner whether if you use seafoam or any injector cleaner and run it at least for 10 minutes and do the same procedure with a carb cleaner as I did before it will clean it and no longer leak fuel. And the last indirect fuel injectors you just need to spray it with carb cleaner with using injector adapter and no need to use ultrasonic cleaner. And that was the complete guide how to differentiate direct and indirect fuel injectors and how to clean them. Hope you guys found the video useful and learned something new. If it was, like and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.